Hello everyone, this is Jim Nix from nomadicpursuits.com and in this video we'll be talking about removing wide angle distortion in Aurora HDR 2018. We're going to use the lens correction tool for that along with a couple of other adjustments. So let's get started. This is a three exposure HDR that was brought into Aurora already and merged. It was shot handheld so I also ticked the box for alignment. But it was shot with a wide angle lens which is why I wanted to uh, use this as an example. When you shoot with a wide angle lens you often get a type of distortion where things sort of bow a little bit in the center and you can fix that with the lens correction tool. You just click on it there and you have this distortion setting. Now there's also defringing and removing chromatic aberration. Uh, we're not going to cover those in this video but if you're not familiar with them you'll often see when you zoom in in areas of high contrast you may see little green or purple fringes along the edges and that's what that is and you can remove those with this tool as well. You can also de-vignette. Some lenses will create a little bit of a vignette around the edge of a photo and de-vignetting allows you to remove that as you can see which I am doing there. Now as far as the distortion goes there's really two options. You can either go left or right. If you go to the left you're actually creating a little bit more of that bulbing, uh, bulbous sort of blowing out uh, type look. In this photo, because it was shot with a wide angle, I really want to go the other way. So I'm going to go to about, let's say, 20, 24, 25, right in there. And now I think that looks a lot straighter. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. Let me show you the before and after. You can see how that looks a bit more sort of like it's bulging outwards, and that looks a little bit uh, straighter. Now, of course, we've created by doing this a little bit of excess space around the edges. Now I generally use the transform tool in tandem with lens correction but in this video we're going to skip the transform because we'll do that in another video and instead I'm just going to use the crop tool. So I'll click on the crop tool which is up there in the upper right and I choose my aspect ratio. I want to stick with the original 3 to 2 and then I can just drag that accordingly to get the photo about how I want it to be. I actually need to bring it a little bit further down and let's see here, something like that I think will be just about right. I think we've covered all the uh, white spots. You just click crop and you are set. So now let me show you the before and after. Now you, when you compare them you can see how much more bulbous and sort of how that looks like it's bowing out in the center versus now. And so that's what the lens correction tool will do for you. By the way, I recommend that you apply lens correction and transform and crop and those sort of things at the beginning. I just think it makes sense to get those sort of edits done on your photo before you start doing your stylization type edits to the photo. From there, I might just work on the uh, HDR basic panel to add some contrast, maybe some HDR enhance, maybe a little bit of color bump with saturation and vibrance just to give it a little bit more life. And in fact, I want to go back in here and lift Smart Tone a little bit so it's not quite too shadowy. And there you go. Let me show you the final before and after. There's the after and there's the before. You can see we made a huge difference in that, especially in that center section where it looks like it's bowing outward. And that's the uh, benefit of using the lens correction tool in Aurora HDR 2018. Hope that it helps and appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let us know. And thanks again. We'll see you next time.